guys, my name is Galina and I want to show you a fluent video about uh, face nail art, about drawing a profile face. Uh, so I will be doing it on my oval tip. I will be doing it on, well, on um, nude, on beige color uh, with uh, my thin brush. Uh, brush synthetic and the length of the brush is uh, about one centimeter. It has enough of hair to uh, take the color, to keep the color, to and uh, to avoid the uh, the drop uh, on the nib of uh, the brush. You know, uh, if the uh, material, if your gel polish of your gel paint is uh, too liquid, it can be like a drop on the nib of your brush. So uh, I'm going to use um, grease enough uh, gel paint. It's called. Uh, other gel polish. This is my own gel. Uh, other gel paint. This is my own uh, production. So um, I'm. Um, so I believe. I I don't believe. I really know that it is of very good uh, quality. And I'm going to use this uh, gel paint for my drawing. Uh, I will also use some um, uh, top with. Uh, uh, top sock off. It has uh, the um, um, sock layer. It has uh, the layer of um, I know sticky layer, sticky layer after it dries. So it, uh, I need it for shadowing. Well, firstly, I take uh, black gel polish, not gel paint, but gel polish. My gel polish is Haruyama. It is black and it is extra black. I call it. It is very very black, not very liquid. I will show you it a little bit. You see, it is not. Uh, it is very pigmented. There are a lot of black pigments, so it will help me to uh, make lines uh, thin and um, very long because my gel paint is very, uh, very thick. Uh, it is very thick. But all my uh, and uh, uh, when I mix gel paint with gel polish the uh, mix becomes uh, the drop of the material becomes a little bit more liquid but um, not uh, very transparent okay firstly i mix top with uh, gel polish with black gel polish we are going to make um, black and white <laughs> black and beige you know uh, nail art it will not be very colorful I'm going to show you only the scheme and, all, and a little bit of Terra Squirrel and our girl. And um, so, firstly, we need to uh, make the uh, silhouette, or silhouette of our profile face. Um, I'm going to draw it between these two dots. Uh, this dot will be the hairline, this dot will be the chin. And my goal will be looking to the left side. And firstly, I'm going to make the uh, a bend line, but it is not very uh, curved. It is just a little bit curved. The bend of uh, this line is uh, not extra. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, uh, next. I'm going to uh, set, uh, to divide my this line into three equal parts. One, two, three. Uh, by I measuring, I'm going to check it. This will be the line for my brows. This will be the line for my nose. Under this line and under, under this point will be the nose. Under this point will be uh, the eye. Then here will be the lips. Here will be the eye, and uh, in this part, I'm going to uh, find the middle of this part and uh, take a little bit up, uh, so it becomes to be uh, one third part of this uh, of this segment. And this will be the level for my eye. Uh, next, here this line, I'm going to divide it into uh, two equal parts in the middle and take a little bit up. Here will be the middle, uh, the middle dot of her mouth. It is the uh, dot uh, that uh, connects upper 
and bottom lip. Okay, now, now we are going to make her the silhouette of her profile. Here in this area will be the nose. So first I'm going to make the curve for her nose stitch. The curve, the point of curvation will be on this line. Then I'm going to make her nose shape, her nose curvation. Approximately I want to the nose to be of this size. I don't make the, um, this, uh, this is my sketching, you know, and I'm trying not to make it very dark. Okay, then after nose I'm going to make a short line towards my this basic line, you see, and then I'm going to connect it to the upper lip. And you uh, notice that uh, upper lip is not uh, is not moved forward than the nose. You see, n the nose is lefter than the lip. Lip is um, the top lip is uh, much more closer to this basic line than the nose. You see this distance. Then I'm go I'm going to make her down lip. The step uh, the step to the uh, to the basic line from the down lip, the volume of her chin, and after everything is almost finished, I'm going to finish her chin with this type of the line. I'm uh, gonna to measure uh, this uh, um, th this distance. And repeat it here. This distance here, here will be her neck. Then I use the next steps to uh, determine her nose, her nostril. Uh, it will be a little bit upper than this line of her nose and the bottom of her nose, <coughs> and it will be, it will cross the basic, the, our basic. Uh, curve line. <coughs> uh, right of this uh, of this line, we're going to make a nose wind, and you just uh, must notice that this line is almost parallel to this line, and the line of her nostril is almost parallel to the bottom of to the line of the bottom of her nose. You see, this line repeats this. Almost, you see, almost, and this line almost repeats this. Then uh, we are going to use our this basic line, but we are going to make um, the dub, uh, you know, the line that is similar to our basic curve, but it goes from this point where our nose wind finishes. And this line helps us to determine the corner of her lip, her upper lip, her bottom lip. Now, this line is also helps us uh, helps us to determine her eye. So we um, make uh, a step uh, right from this line. Often I just repeat this distance here and here will be my eyeball, the eyeball of my girl. Then I'm going to make, to mark her uh, external corner of her eye and the bottom eyelid. Uh, the folder on her upper eyelid. And the, the thin folder on her down eyelid. Then, in the very beginning, I've told that this measure will be from her hairline to her um, brow, the beginning of her brow. Here will be her brow, but not on, from this part. It will be a little bit 
uh, it will be a little bit uh, writer uh, the uh, her the silhouette of the line of the silhouette of her profile doesn't is not connected with her brow then the direction of brow will be not very um, arced it will be not e e extremely arced the point of curvation will be almost in the end of her eye and then the destination will be almost horizontal okay here is her brow here will be her hair okay and we need to uh, clean all unneeded all extra lines extra lines are will be um, the lines of added curved line that we used to determine her, uh, her eye and the corner of the lips I clean it with the brush uh, using the cleanser okay I'm going to dry it just for um, uh, just for uh, maybe five seconds and the uh, next step will be pre-contour for my girl pre-contour means that I need to uh, um, you know make the accental lines uh, in, se in several places firstly it will be the nostril I take the gel paint and make it a little bit dark nostril um, nose, nose uh, wind and uh, the middle line of her lips I take the gel paint again um, make the accent on her um, lash line lash line the folder on her upper eyelid okay now I'm going to dry it entirely and I'm going to make some shadows in her face on her skin and I'm going to make it uh, with black gel polish uh, using top sock off elastic layer I'm mixing it I mix um, top with black gel polish Uh, make very very transparent mix from these two uh, liquids and I'm going to make some shadows first shadow would be in from the inner corner of her eye uh, it goes through the folder to the external corner of her eye then them can a little bit be connected through the uh, through the bottom eyelid clean my brush and make a little bit of shadowing feathering okay let it dry for a couple of seconds just to fix it then I'm going to make some shell under her nose, on the bottom part of her nose, on her nose wing, on her upper lip, under her down lip, in the corner of her lip. on her neck and uh, also on the her check bones oops sorry her check bones I took um, uh, enough a lot of material 
put it on uh, the place I want it to be. Make a little bit of shadowing. Uh, put the shadow on uh, her templates under her here. Okay, make it dry a little bit. Now I'm going to make a little bit of lights while get polish mixing with the top coat. Make a transparent mix. Okay. On the front of her forehead. On the front of your nose bridge. I take a lot of material, but I, uh, you know, I try to control it. And if I feel that it is too much of material, I just clean my brush and take the extra material or the extra amount of material from my picture. On her checks. A little bit more on her forehead. Maybe a little bit on her upper eyelid. On her folder. Make a little bit of drying. And now we are going to make the shadows a little bit uh, darker. Darken and will be closer to her eye. Uh, closer to the folder. Closer to the external corner. Closer to the nostril. And uh, your upper lip closer to the middle line. Uh, the uh, falling shadow from her bottom lip to her uh, chin, on her chin, sorry. Closer to the nostril again, because I see it's not enough for darkening. Okay, and now I'm going to make her brow a little bit darker. Okay. The shadow under her hair. The shadow on her checkbones, a little bit darker and closer to the right side. You see that all the next shadows, they are smaller and darker too, I see. Smaller or darker too, I see, and closer to the darkest part of my, of my girl. <laughs> uh, closer to the darkest part of the shape I want it to be. Uh, now I'm going to make your iris. The iris is um, looks like the half of iris, you know, because uh, um, we can see only the half of the iris, and the rest of your iris goes um, under your upper uh, eyelid. In the same step, I can uh, take um, gel polish with uh, with top not very saturated color and uh, make the type of eyeliner on her eye and make the accents on her upper eyelid then make some details on her brow detail accents okay some um, some hairs separate here um, let's dry a little bit and we are going to finish our go with the uh, 
a couple of uh, eyelashes. on her upper eyelid, on her bottom eyelid, they are not very noticeable, not very visible. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I'm going to make the falling shadow under her eyelashes. Some accents on her, in her um, uh, highlights. I need to make some highlights, but first I'm going to make her hair. I'm going to make uh, them very detailed, but I'm going to make some separate here. Okay like this and I'm going to make um, uh, shadow accents in the places I will uh, I have already made extra shadows here and here Uh, I want to make some line here because uh, sometimes we can see the rest of the brow of another size or of another part of your side of another part of your face. Then I'm going to make some blurs in your eyes. In the bottom middle. Then extra lights or highlights on the on the front of her nose bridge, on the front of her forehead, on the front of her check, and make it a little bit softer with help of shadowing. In the front of her chin, a little bit on on her lips. Oops. I needed to dry a little bit of <laughs> yeah, actually. Okay, let's, let's dry it and I think we will make a little bit of um, extra separate hair. Because I believe it is, uh, you know, it's too accurate, girl. <laughs> so let's make some extra separate hair up here. Okay. And let's make it from here. Um, I feel that uh, the gel paint is too thick, so I'm gonna to mix it with. Oops, sorry. I'm going to mix it with gel polish. Okay. So it will look like this, and um, I want to make uh, some background surface uh, to uh, your, uh, you know to um, make the accent on my girl and the uh, um, and the accents uh, on the background surface will be made uh, actually closer to the uh, upper part and closer to her chin uh, you see where uh, where you can see the lights, the lights on her skin. But don't make it too dark. Okay, here it is. And the girl, I think she looks very attractive. Um, sometimes I make some magical dots. 
some magical lines on her hair. Okay, and here is our party girl on our beige tip with help of our skin and with a little bit of shadowing. Thank you so much. 